Hey guys, this is Hancha, and today I'm going to be play playing Ghost Party. It's an RPG Maker game where we play as a ghost that goes and collects things. So let's start. Ghost Story is a game where you play as a ghost. You can move around with the arrow keys and examine objects and people with the space bar. Zero key for menu. Examine everything and talk to everyone. It's another beautiful night. You have been living in this mansion for as long as you can remember. Your favorite hobbies are floating, sighing, and snooping around. There are many people who often visit the mansion. You wonder who is here tonight and what they are up to. Something bad. Alright. So I'm a ghost. There I am. You're a good roommate. Aw, you're a good roommate too, little bat person. It's a mop and a bucket. Gross. You hear the faint sound of music coming from inside the drawer. There's a dusty CD player inside playing OK music. <laughs> Take it? Yes. I put it in my fanny pack. This is where you sleep. Underneath the bed is a small box. Open it. Inside the box is a dog collar and an old carrot. Take anything? Both. You put them in your fanny pack. I'm just finding all kinds of good stuff. A baseball card lying on the ground. Yep. Alright, let's see what I got. It's a card of you in the Little League. Uh, I played baseball. The battery's dying. It's so old that it's just a stick now. <laughs> Why is there, was there an old car carrot under my bed? Worn out dog collar with the name Lucy on it. Hmm. There's a number two pencil in the drawer. It's not very sharp, so you leave it behind. Well, we can sharpen it later. There's my bat friend again. If bats are, if bats see by listening, are they seeing or hearing? They're, they're hearing. They just hear differently. Herschel, money makes life easier, but it can't guarantee happiness. That is correct. It's a bust of a famous queen. There's a phone charm hanging on her ear. Take it. Put it in your fanny pack. <laughs> I'm such a klepto. It's a bu bust of a famous philosopher. This plant smells great. This plant looks like someone you used to be friends with. Is his name Chuck? Can you help me make a soft taco? Sure. It's one of the few things I can actually cook. Uh, a witch. This is a house a witch could get used to. I'm assuming that's the accent. What's her name? And Dora <laughs> from <laughs> Bewitched. Are you a dog or a cat person? I'm a dog person. I like cats. I knew it. Here, take this. The bat hands you a dog pencil sharpener. Yay! Now I can go sharpen that pencil. I like cats, but I, I don't know, I prefer dogs. They're friendlier. There's a mama sloth sitting inside the vase. Take her? Yes! You put her in your fanny pack. <clears throat> funky phone charm. You can't afford a funky phone to put th to put this on. She likes to take it slow. <laughs> dog picture. Shaped like a dog. Oh, 
I wonder how I'm going to use all these items. There's a golden key in the drawer. I know how to use that one. Take it. Yes. Hey, is that the same guy? This bus doesn't have a nose. Oh, find your nose. It's still... It's a still life of some batteries. I need that for my apartment. This man looks very important. There are many small books about making tea. What about coffee? This is a book all about shoes. There's a silver dagger on the table. Take it! Sure! You put it that in your fanny pack. Oh, let me see. Or is it a le or is it a letter opener? I'm gonna go for a letter opener. This plant is very quiet. As opposed to all the loud plants around. You look out the window and see stars. You see a group of horses and a body of water in the distance. It's a landscape of a distant planet. Was there anything special about the other window? There are also flowers growing on the ground. Well, let's go outside. I'm assuming this is still the backyard. No, it's not. Oh, it's a superhero. I'm s sort of scared of ghosts. <laughs> His left knee is trembling a bit. Well, I'll find something for you. This face look. Ha this face looks handmade. Actually, I want to go get the pencil. The pencil is sharp once again. You put it in your fanny pack. Maybe you can finally start that diary. Excuse me. I'll go back up. Go see what's over here. Um, did it crash? Oh, no, it's just really, really dark. Oh, I think it crashed. Uh, well, uh, I think I'll play a bit more of it next time, but for now, that was Ghost Party. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> There's a sandwich in the bookshelf. Take it. Take the sandwich. No. One of the books has a drawing of an alpaca. There's a copy of the Sky Mall catalog. Somebody stole that. There's a book lying on the ground. Take it. Take it. Maybe you should take a few of these books to read later. There are so many books! You wish you had learned how to speed read. This plant smells like paprika. Is there such a thing as therapy for ghosts? <laughs> Actually, there probably is, and there's probably a TV show on it. Have you seen the ghost bat? No. This plant is dying. Oh, we'll try to find some water for you. This the bookshelf is filled with books about pies. But they are not necessarily cookbooks. Pie appreciation. There's a book here on how to wrap. The vase has a crack shaped like a butt. No. <laughs> 
This globe is very inaccurate. Hello, little girl. Frankie. After all the work I put into that robot, he goes missing the second we step in here. Did this little girl lose something? Yeah, a robot. It reflects everything in the room perfectly. It must be a mirror. Mm -mm -mm. There's something shiny in the fireplace. But you can't reach it with the fire. Yes, you can. You're a ghost. There's a pan flute in the drawer. Take it. Yes. The drawer is empty. The clock begins to shake. A bat flew out at you. Thanks for helping me out of there. Now I can go pay the bills. There is an ornate mirror on the ground. Take it? Yes. The drawer makes a funny sound when you open it. The drawer is empty. That's okay. Plunk is dead. <laughs> You look out the window and see stars. You can see a shooting star. You look out the window and see stars. You can see a small village of gnomes in a forest. It's a very 80s looking painting. Your reflection looks funny in this mirror. Funky in this mirror. Do, I have, do ghosts have reflections? It's a painting of a bagel. Well, another winner. Hello. Hank. He seems as though he's lost in his thoughts. Maybe if I, like... Can I get one of my items to snap him out of it? Sad book. No one has ever finished reading this book. This pan flute reminds you of a past life. <laughs> a key that goes nowhere. doesn't show much ex except a reflection. Mm -hmm. Did I get anything else? It doesn't seem I can use. Well, I guess they automatically use, don't they? Let's see what's up here. There's a bottle of sleep pills on the table. Take it? Yes. You put that in your fanny pack. Hello. Sup? No one else in this house can see you but me, ghost. I've been talking to everybody. That's because I'm a spirit medium. But it's not like I even care or whatever. You are caught off guard by Pearl's supernatural abilities. But you realize it's pointless if she doesn't think you're cool enough to talk to. Being a ghost can get lonely. Aw, Pearl. Does this mean we can't sit at the same lunch table? It's a painting of a little boy eating soup. This house has the best paintings. This mirror is broken. You look out the window and see stars. Isn't it romantic? Aww. You look at the window to see stars. Someone has etched the number 98 at the bottom. That's probably going to be important later. This cabinet is full of folded yoga pants. Take one? Sure. This bed is being covered by an electric blanket. It looks like it, it could come out handy on, col on those cold nights. You put it in your fan fanny bag. Yeah, especially because I don't have a body. Now the bed isn't warm. Oh. Inside the drawer is a tiny room. You look out the window and see stars. There's a small line of ants marching around. No offense, but never mind. What? 
This room is full of mean people. You look out the window and see stars. There's a storm cloud approaching. One of the books is Glow in the Dark. There are books in a beta language. That's right, Pearl. I stole y'all like a blanket. Alright. A drawing of two burly men fighting. It's a painting of a beautiful woman. You wonder if she is buried in the graveyard. We'll go check later. This is an okay painting. But art is subjective. It's a painting of a young man. You can see a dark shadow behind him. This is a great painting! But art is subjective. subjective. It's a painting of a young witch. She looks like she wants to take a nap. It's a painting of a cucumber in Paris. It's a painting of a man with eye patch. He looks like a cat person. It's a drawing of a machine with lasers. Hello. Um. We should all try to stick together. I guess. I went to art school once. No, you didn't. The eyes of the bus follow your movements. Doors locked. Doors locked. Let's float over here. No, it's just a room with Hank. Do we look out these windows? You look at the window, see stars. You feel weirdly weak. You see your reflection and it reminds you of your immortality. You look at the window. Someone wrote something on the wall, it says. One weird tip to lose friends. <laughs> you look at the window. You suddenly want to try speed dating. Mm, no. You look at the window. You give this window four out of five stars. Uh -huh. You look at the window and see stars. There's a huge bird flying in the distance. Hello. Do I want lobster or tofu for dinner? You want a lobster for dinner, if that's your choice. This plan isn't even real. Whoa! I see something out there. There's a shadow outside. Isn't it frowning? Life is so cruel. You wonder what it means by that. You see a family of mice in this cabinet. Gross. The parents are tucking their kids in. Uh, it's still gross. This cabinet is empty. There's some ghost food inside the fridge. A small scarab beetle crawled out from underneath the cabinet. Pick it up? Sure. There is a squid swimming around in the sink. Take it? Yep. There's some math homework inside the cabinet. Take it? Yep. Well, I'm not going to do it anyway. Did anyone pay the bills? I thought you were paying the bills. Uh -huh. I'm not paying the bills. Can I take this thing? I cannot. It's the robot! We found it! Come on, you gotta go back to that girl. Boop, boop, boop. You can't understand a word he's saying. Well, we'll go... Do I have anything I can give him? What, do, oh, what did I pick up so far? Math homework. It's unfinished. It's going to stay that way. A worn out dog collar with... Oh, wait. I got oh, no. You squid it. It's shiny and scuttling around. Can you pull them off? Who cares? They're comfortable. 
It has a long and annoying cord. Sleep pills. There are only a few left in the bottle. Oh yeah, I stole that girl's sleep pills too. This plant also isn't even real. No wait, it is a real plant. Tick tock, tick tock. Did I look at these windows? I bet you I did. Oh no, I didn't. Why does blood taste like money? Um, I think it's probably because of the iron. I, I don't know, I don't know. You look out the window and see stars. There's a praying mantis wearing a hat on the windowsill. You look out the window and see stars. You are tired of all the work you've been doing. So group. There's not a cloud in the, in the sty in the sky tonight. You look at the window and see stars. The window is shaking from the wind. You look at the window and see stars. The window is painted shut. You look at the window and see stars. You can see Orion's belt. Well, let's go tell that girl that you're here. You heard a scream come from the dining room. <laughs> Hello. My word, it all happened so quickly. One sec when I, I was awaiting my dinner, and then in the next I was... I suppose I'm a ghost now, aren't I? Just like you. But I'm still hungry. Well, there's some ghost food in the fridge. If you'll get out of the way bring you some. There's one last ghost popsicle left. Take it. Take it. You put it in your fanny, fanny pack. Did you kill her? <laughs> Is that a ghost popsicle? Do you mind if I have it? Sure, I got it for you. You hand the ghost popsicle to Virginia. Oh, thank you, young person. I don't know what this is, but you can have it. It looks like some kind of electronic component. You put that in your fanny pack. The killer dropped it when he came at me. Um. So I'm guessing the killer was the robot? Her yep, Herbert's translator. Uh, okay. Um, oh, it's someone that messed with Herbert. Boop! Boop! I believe this robot may be a witness to Virginia's murder. But I can't seem to understand any anything he is saying. Well, I have a translator. Uh, well, maybe I need to give the translator to this girl. Hello. Herbert must have dropped his translator component somewhere. Yep. If someone could help me find it, I could install it. You can't give the translator to Frankie because she isn't a ghost. Maybe there is someone who could help you. Virginia can help me. Virginia. Oh my, this is too cold for my teeth. Er, Virginia. Vir Maybe the bat? The thing I love the most is love. Uh, well, let's find someone who can help us. Will you help us? When you live alone, no one wakes you up. That's why you set an alarm clock. Oh, oh, I know who can help me. Pearl. Even though she was kind of mean and I stole her blanket and her sleeping pills. Hey, Pearl. I know you're kind of mean, but maybe you could stop for two seconds and help me. You want me to give that translator to the little scientist girl? Yes, please. How much are you going to pay me? 
Uh, nothing. <sighs> Alright, well now I have to find money. Did someone just die? You're very perceptive. Hey, little superhero, do you have some money? Ah, uh, I ain't scared. Yes, you are. <sighs> Where can I find money? In real life, too. You can talk to bats, and bats can talk to you, even though you're dead, because animals are cool. Hank, I need help. All I need is this here cantino mine. I need money. Oh, who can give me money? Alright, well, I think I'm going to stop the video here for now. Um, this was Ghost Party. Um, I, I really like this game. I'm going to keep playing it. So, see you guys next time.